What's going on guys, Neil Bauman here with Parakeet and today we're going to give you some more tips on mastering mobile. First, I want to give you some updates. We are having a live in-person training held in Tampa at the Paul Davis Restoration Center. They, these people got a badass spot set up. They have some simulated rooms, kitchens, the whole nine yards. We're going to get free range of having that whole place to do a whole in-person live hurricane preparedness class. We are partnering with Evolve and Paul Davis Restoration, but most importantly, a uh, big shout out to Evolve um, working with us and throwing this for uh, you know adjusters in the area. We're gonna open it to the public. It's gonna be held June 14th from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Uh, I believe Evolve is gonna be doing a hurricane preparedness um, desk, a cat desk uh, training in, in addition to the uh, mastering mobile course that we're going to do. I'm going to show you the exact process that I do when on a deployment, uh, which allows me to close all my files same day. Um, Armand's been with me uh, in California. You guys heard me talk about this multiple times. Um, I mean, good days. I'm running, you know, seven to I mean, 12 inspections a day, closing them all same day. I'm going to show you that same process that I do uh, step by step. And uh, we're very excited to bring it to you guys and get the, the live classes going. Of course, we still have the online course that is $200. You get access to all of our online mobile courses. There's about six hours of content. Uh, we are shooting more videos actually today in this house. It's a two, nice two-story house that we're gonna be doing some demonstrations in. I'm giving you this, guy, uh, this video for free. This is going to be a staircase. How to sketch this. I'm gonna show you exactly how I draw it would draw this out as you see a little bit intimidating right you know um, I'm going to show you what I would do with this wall how I would trick the system to recognize a break here and be able to ultimately do this little stairwell going up and have it or this little handrail half wall whatever you want to call it partial wall and have it stop here and as, uh, sketch out this room it's a nice little living room here and we'll stop at the kitchen um, those of you that had the paid mobile course, uh, we're going to keep going and we're going to estimate or and sketch and estimate for the entire downstairs here. And I'm going to show you guys exactly what I would do for this whole, this whole setup here. So start with this. I always like to start with the actual staircase itself. So I'm going to sketch this first and then branch this room off of it. Think of this as like your spine to your whole sketch. Always try to tackle the most difficult part first, which is going to be the stairwell. If you build the whole house and then try to add the stairs, it's going to make it a little difficult. Your stairwells aren't going to be, it isn't going to be as accurate as it needs to be. And uh, I'm going to show you what I would do here. So, bottom on the screen. Uh, let me start this recording over again so our mom's not having to dig through when to start. <laughs> So first and foremost, pulling out the stair tool, dropping the first step, then we have a landing. I would measure this landing here. Ooh, them knees, man. Getting rough. Four, four. All right. So I just want to tap. If I drag it, it will keep doing the staircase up and further. We want to obviously stop, do a landing, and then go this other direction. Uh, Tap that, so it creates the landing. Then I can drag this out. I just measured it. Two, four, four. Oh man, of course. Sorry, wasn't supposed to tap. Drag. <laughs> so I bring it up here. I do not have a landing up there, so I'm gonna get rid of that. But. I want to count these uh, these step these steps up these risers. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 11, twelve. All right. The settings here. Oh, thirty set to twelve. Look at that. All right. So now we want to sketch this bottom room. Um, I guess I should go back to the stairs. You definitely want to get the width of it. It's all set to the standard three feet usually. Three feet. So we're good to go. That's usually a standard and usually it's on point. I don't mess with that too much and just it's something a lot more wider. It looks a little abnormal, but this is just a standard stairwell here. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull off, we have to measure this wall out or measure this whole area. 
So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull it off of this staircase, right? I'm gonna hit plus, okay? I need to measure the distance from this opening here, or from this wall here to right here. With this, I can use my hand. Oh, sorry, a lot of practice, guys. over I'll get my line tool I use a line tool a lot as my virtual tape measure so it's two four get a little get a little measurement out there drag it up to that wall bring this here okay I want to measure this Another, another trick. When you talk to the exacting, exacting the guys, they don't like that we have to do this, but we got to trick the system to get by with, you know, what we got to work with here. I like to write estimates on site, so I try to figure out these little tricks and bring it to you guys, hopefully, and help you guys out. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna create a whole new room because I'm trying to trick the staircase and create that opening. So I'm gonna drag this over, hit the plus sign, bring it over to here. I know that wall is going to go to the end there. It doesn't go past it, obviously, so I don't even need to measure. So now I'm going to click on this wall, delete it. And you can make this living room. All right, we can make this area a subgroup of the living room. Now it's all one, all right? Good thing. So now I need to trick this. I'm going to come here. Click on this wall. I think I can select multiple because I gotta. Tr I got to. Uh, it's not letting me do that turn. Ah, only with. So let's see if I can do it both. Nope. Look, it's only letting me do one. Probably because this wall is attached to the stairs, and this one down here is not. So it's kind of technically in this not in the same category, I guess, in the software is mine. So we have to do each because when I have them both selected, look, graze it out. No problem. Do one at a time. Added clicks, but we're all right with it. Wall type, right here, full. Partially miss missing above stairs. There you go. That wall height, or here, let's go ahead and get that. Click on there, it will link up to the disto. So I'll just come here from the highest point, measure it straight down to that step. Three, four, three, five. Perfect. And I come in here. Full, same thing, partially missing those stairs. You know that was three, five. And then lastly, we got this little wall here. Same. Wall type, partially missing those stairs. You know that was about three, five. Perfect. And then obviously, there's no wall right here, so we're gonna get rid of that wall. Now, let's go into our 3D model and see how we did. Look at that, perfect. Looks just like that. <laughs> so that's how you do, that's how, again, I, I start, this is my spine, this is the start of it. Uh, I create this first and then branch everything off and it's gonna make everything easier, much easier. So. For those of you who are watching this on the free channel, this is gonna end here and we appreciate you guys um, watching us. Thank you so much. Uh, we are gonna get more into this uh, and do a lot more videos now. We got a lot more focus on these and we got the, like I said, the in-person class coming. Me and Armand have a lot of content planned to be coming to you guys. So stay tuned and thanks for watching. Thanks for watching guys. We truly appreciate it. 
Um, we know we haven't been making videos here too often. We've been working on our other companies, Property Heroes. We started a tarping company. <laughs> it's been a lot of work, but now we're gonna focus back on Parrot Key, bringing you guys content, doing more in-person trainings. I told you at the start of this video, if you get the paid channel, we're gonna keep, we're going back inside right after this and we're gonna just continue the rest of this bottom floor. We may even do the upstairs. We're gonna give you the more detail in that class or in that paid channel, but we still wanted to bring you some nice valuable content to the free channel and just show you what we're working with and how to you know, do some of these pain points as when you're starting out as a new adjuster. We know how tough it is, so I just wanna give you as much as I can while still holding the circuits a little bit close to me. But our live in-person class is June 14th. Yep. June 14th in Tampa at the Paul Davis Restoration Center. This is going to be partnered with Evolve. They are one of the best firms I have ever worked with and worked for. I run dailies for them all the time. They are incredible and amazing staff. Uh, the, the field claims manager, Rhonda, she's one of my favorite people on the planet. Stephanie's in crazy, or is, is incredible. Uh, William Thomas, love him i love the whole operation they have going on there so we're really excited to work with these folks and be able to bring this class to you in a way more expanded and organized way some of you have been to our first two classes this is going to be that times 100. this is going to be a hurricane preparedness class held at the paul davis restoration center in tampa it's their showroom they have every kind of simulation it's a mitigation company so you can only understand or imagine you know the setups they have we're going to be doing our whole class there super excited to have it and be doing it with a, such an amazing company and evolve and thank you guys we can't thank you enough for watching and stay tuned for more content